Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to build our new RKP Mini Complete Mechanical Kit from propulsionboards.com, our online store for electric skateboard parts. This is a modular, very easy to build, simple DIY electric skateboard drivetrain, perfect for beginners building their first electric skateboard. All of these components fit together really nicely. It's all been made specifically for this kit and it provides you with an easy to use, super powerful, super reliable first DIY electric skateboard drivetrain. The Complete Mechanical Kit normally sells for $349.99, but right now we have a pre-order going on through mid-August where this kit will be selling for $299.99 and the kits will start shipping in mid-August. So make sure to go check that out. There's gonna be a link in the description below. So now without further ado, let's get into how to assemble this electric skateboard drivetrain. So the first part are these trucks and these trucks have been custom designed and made by us perfect for DIY electric skateboard mini drivetrains. The main feature on these trucks that makes this kit so special are the built-in motor mounts on the rear hanger, allowing for super easy and reliable assembly of your electric skateboard drivetrain. There's a couple other trucks that do this, such as the Evolve trucks and all of the DKP clones, and a couple other RKP truck options, but these are the first standard width RKP trucks. They have the exact same width as caliber trucks, so they're much more narrow and perfect for compact or first DIY electric skateboard builds. When we set out to design these trucks, the first thing that we had in mind was the end user and the DIY electric skateboard community, and for that reason, modularity and future-proofness were key in designing these trucks. For that reason, these trucks have several features that are standard across many other truck options. The first is the axle that we used on this truck. It's a custom step-down machined axle that goes from a 10mm shaft to an 8mm shaft. And this is the exact same style of axle used on all of the DKP style boards, meaning that there are so many other wheel pulleys that are already compatible with these trucks. Second is the bolt pattern on the motor mounts built into the rear hanger, which are the exact same dimension as all of the DKP boards out there. This allows for some compatibility between these trucks and other off-the-shelf mounts, though it'll be important to check the exact angles first. Third are the bushings that we chose, which are the Riptide APS barrel bushings, which are widely available and available in so many different durometers so you can tune your board and trucks to perfections in the future. Second are the mounts. These mounts have also been custom designed and they're machined from 6061 T6 aerospace grade aluminum. They are precision manufactured and machined to be of the highest quality and they're made to fit 63 millimeter motors so they'll not only fit the 6354s that come with this kit but other 63 millimeter motors on the market. The motors that come with the kit are the 6354 170 kV motors from Flipsky. They are battle hardened and have a D shaped motor shaft. They are each 2450 watts for a maximum combined total output of 4900 watts of power. They come with 4mm bullet connectors for the phase wires and a 6 pin JST compatible already with most VESC sensor ports. The motor phase wires are also wrapped in this nice braided cable sleeving to keep the build super clean and tidy. Overall, these are high quality, compact, and powerful electric skateboard motors. The motor pulley that comes with the motor is this 15 tooth, 15mm wide, 5M pitch D shaped motor pulley. It slides onto the shaft of the D-shaped motor and then is held into place with a set screw on the side that it's important to use Loctite with. For the first step of assembly, you'll need the motor mounts, the motors, and the 8 M4 cap head bolts included in the kit. The first step in assembly is to mount the motor to the motor mount, and this is just done by sliding the mount over the motor and motor pulley. Now it's important to note that the orientation of the slots shown in this video is slightly different than the final mount, which is shown right here, and the final mount slots are just a little bit more optimized for the wire angle. Because of this, the mounting of the motor on the motor mount might look a little bit different in this video than it will on the kits that ship. You'll then use the M4 cap head bolts to secure the mount to the motor using the threads already on the face of the motor. There are four bolts for each motor that do this, and you'll want to make sure to use an Allen key to tighten these down. This process will be repeated for both mounts and both motors. For step two, the rear truck, the motor and motor mount assembly, and the six M5 bolts and six M5 nuts are needed. In step two, the motor and motor mount are mounted to the rear truck. This is done by sliding the mount over the hanger and then using three M5 bolts to clamp the plate to the flange on the rear hanger. Once I've aligned the holes on the plate and the flange with the bolts, the next step is to use the nuts to thread on to the M5 bolts. 
These can then be tightened down using an Allen key and an adjustable wrench. This process is repeated for both sides so that the drivetrain is symmetrical. If you have a cordless drill or driver, I highly recommend using that instead with a hex bit as it just goes so much faster with this process than having to hand tighten the bolts. For step 3, the wheel pulleys and the belts are needed. The wheel pulleys are 38 tooth 15mm wide HTD5 Kegel wheel pulleys. The ones shown in this video are prototype 3D printed samples, but the final version will be using injection molded glass filled nylon. These wheel pulleys are of the press fit variety, so they already have a 10mm inner diameter bearing installed in them to fit on our stepped axle. The belts are standard 265mm long HTD5 15mm wide belts. The first part of step 3 is to slide the belt over the hanger and the axle and align it up with the motor pulley. The wheel pulley can then be slid onto the shaft and then rotated into place until the belt aligns and the wheel pulley slides all the way down the axle. Once the belt has aligned with the two pulleys, the next step is to set the belt tension. This is done by using your thumb and fingers to pull the motor back along the slots and then tightening the M4 bolts fully on the motor mount. My general rule of thumb for belt tension is to make the belt as loose as possible without slipping, which might take some tinkering and adjusting to get right. This process then has to be repeated for the other side. The belt covers are these custom 3D printed belt covers. They are currently going to be 3D printed for the first batch of kits, but we hope to eventually have these be injection molded. For step 4 of the assembly, the drivetrain, the belt covers, and these 4 M4 cap head bolts are needed. The motor mounts already have threads built into them, so all that's needed is to align the belt cover with the motor mount, insert the M4 bolt into the hole in the belt cover, and then bolt it into the mount using an allen key. There are two cap head bolts that hold each belt cover to each mount, and you'll want to repeat this process for both sides. So there you guys have it, that's how you build the RKP Mini Complete Mechanical Kit from our online store Propulsion Boards. All that's needed to complete this kit is a set of your favorite Kegel wheels. For the purpose of demonstration, I'm going to be installing the 105mm Mad Wheels which we also sell on our website and we'll leave a link to in the description below. All that you need to do to install the wheels is basically to align the pegs on the Kegel wheel with the pegs on the wheel pulley and then snap it into place making sure that the bearings are already installed in the wheel and then just do this to both sides, install the nut on the end of the axle, and just like that, you've got a complete mechanical kit, perfect for a DIY electric skateboard. This thing is compact, reliable, it's super powerful at 4,900 watts maximum power, and overall, this is probably the simplest, most complete and integrated DIY electric skateboard drivetrain that's on a standard width electric skateboard truck. So whether you're a beginner looking to build your first electric skateboard and want to make sure all your parts are compatible, or you're a veteran used to building boards and are looking for a compact drivetrain, this is the perfect DIY electric skateboard drivetrain option for you. In the coming months, we're going to be using this drivetrain in some of our build videos, so make sure that you're subscribed to our channel to not miss those videos. If you guys are interested in purchasing this drivetrain, like I said, this drivetrain is currently $50 off through mid-August. It's $299.99 and it will go up to 349.99 
once it hits the end of the pre-order. We will leave a link to it in the description below, and if you have any questions or comments, please let us know in the comment section below and we will make sure to get back to you. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, please make sure to like it and subscribe to our channel for lots of other DIY electric skateboard content. It really does help us out a lot to make more videos and products like this. Thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you guys in the next video.